evening. Evening. Today, we try and fix a BMW to no avail. We massage it gently. Shout <laughs> at the car. Damn you! This <laughs> is my piece of shit. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Shed Life. Today, Josh called me up and apparently he's got something to show me. I've been shopping. Ooh. So, I was in Kent. I've managed to find a- Ah, hold on. Kent, that's, that's where you got the farmers at. The farmers at. Even though that's down Cornwall, south. down south. But either way, you went to Kent. Went to Kent, found a breaker's yard. And to say that I have a shopping list for this car is an understatement. I pretty much have to do panel to panel everything in the car, but I managed to get a banging deal on a couple of things I'm very, very excited to reveal to you guys. And as you can see, we have no front end. I took that dodgy crash bar off, realized that I didn't have any of the front bumper mountings. So I have managed to replace it. So today, in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and rebuild the front. We are gonna have a look at some inside parts and my favorite bit I will reveal at the end. Ryan hasn't seen anything that I've bought yet. So are you excited? I'm excited. Oh, I've kind of seen the bumper hanging over your back seats, but... Oh, yeah, yeah so did the police on the way here. <laughs> yeah, he told me that. That amused me highly because this is just asking for him to be pulled over. Yes. So I'm interested to see what he's got. Let's go. So apparently he's going to reveal some of the parts he's bought me. I've not actually seen them, swear on my life, so it should be interesting to see. Right. We have a glove box that closes fully. That's Very result. nice. And it matches the colour of the interior. Okay, so practical. That's a nice one. So you've got one function which you don't need in a drift car, but okay. Yes. Anyway, next bit. Next bit. Now, this is one bit out of many, so I'm interested to see what he's got next. That wasn't really, you know, exciting enough. I'm hoping he's got something good now. We have a new, hey. that's not new at all, front grill panel so that I can put some vents back in the front. Okay, so we can get some kidneys back on. I don't actually have the kidneys yet, but they'll be ordered. I did just spend my whole paycheck on all of the trash that you're about to see. Next. So we have a bit which will make it look like he has kidneys because let's face it, on BMWs they all fall out anyway. That's just facts. So the next bit we have coming. Da -na -na. We have a non-paint matching front bumper. We're gonna blur that number. We, we, we like the front. We're not gonna blur that, I've seen it now. <laughs> I'll get in trouble. So we have a black, num uh, black front bumper with the mounting point, which Fantastic. is what I didn't have on that silver one. And that's not your number plate, so it doesn't matter if we blur that right now. That is very true. I might have seen you. I've seen your number plate in the last video anyway, you div. Right, next bit, come on. Next bit. See, we try to keep it semi sketchy, semi legit, but as you can see, we've just kept this roll in. This is how it is, you know, you get the legit experience here right the front bumper mountings the most important parts of the front end this is definitely turned into a long job surprisingly i've already done a test fit look at this oh, oh, oh. You, no that's not driver's side you slap that bad boy in like that put the old nuts on and then that bolts straight over the top okay. of that sliding it in there okay good you good. can never go wrong with a test fit. Yeah, ah, that's rules to live by. Are you ready for the banging part? Come on. Get ready. Right. I'm excited about this. I have no idea what this is. I know I know he's got a few bits. I don't know okay. how much more there is. This is the passenger side oh shit handle. <laughs> okay, and if that <laughs> doesn't give you a clue as to what this is, you should be ashamed. Are you ready, Ryan? Okay. The thing that is going to set this car apart from all other janky 36s is a janky OMP steering wheel. 
with Very boss nice. gears. I mean, let's just show. Look at that. Just don't forget this. With oh, the matching ocean sorry, handle. With the matching giant cock ring. Might not put that in now. <laughs> and that I mean, I gotta is... say. I'm oh, a fan. no, wait. I forgot. Oh, he's got I more. I forgot. And you can see OMP. He's actually got a decent brand, which is nice. We also have the oh, thing oh. that is going to make my car not look stolen anymore. <sighs> An under steering wheel trim so that I don't have my feet in wires. Ah, there we go. That's that's the bit we need to hide all of the dodgy wiring the guy did on your car. Or lack of dodgy wiring. Or lack of dodgy, or just lack of wiring full stop. Um, it's actually gonna it's... look like you have a car which is not stolen. I mean, I still have to start off my house key because that is the only thing that goes into the barrel far enough for it to turn the engine. But at a quick glance, it won't look as stolen. So that's a result. That is everything. Should we get cracking fitting some stuff? Let's see what we can fit. And if we can't fit them, there'll be another video and we'll fit them next time. But we will do our best. Let's go. Let's go to it. We are 45 minutes into a 20 minute install and we are getting the power tools out. We're just gonna cut the bastard out. Right, as you can see, it is the next day. We ran out of daylight and it just wasn't a good, we were being eaten alive by mosquitoes. So yep. we thought that we'd call it quits for the night, come back and reassess the next day. So we've got a lot to reveal to you today. So as you can see, we did manage to get the bumper in. We did change the grill panel and we realized that the new replacement part is in worse condition than this one. So it's gone back on. So a complete waste of time. But we did spray paint the fan. And I'm very, very for it. I like it a lot. I'm now thinking I might have to put pink fog lights down here and go blue and pink. Definitely get the pink, you know, flares on there. Bit of a neon Accents. kick. Accents, yeah, neon, neon, neon kick. kick. Oh, underglow coming soon. Drift special. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. That's not all that we've been up to, okay? So we have been very, very busy. We've done wheels, steering wheel, trims on the interior, because as you remember, it was just a wiry mess that every time you went to change gear and you put your foot down on the clutch, you were worried that you were gonna rip out an important wire. So that's all tidy, it's all tucked, it's all gone, and it's starting to look like a car again, and I can't wait to show you guys. And it no longer looks like it's stolen and is total bait for the police. Yeah, L slightly less, slightly less. I mean, I have no door card still. So if they did pull me over, the window It'll doesn't work. Dodgy. Yeah, it's still a bit dodgy, but slightly less dodgy. Slightly less dodgy. So we're going to cut and show the car and you can see what it looks like. 